Okay guys, uh, it's John Stark back here uh, with the next part of the tutorial. Uh, and uh, uh, while you while I had it paused there, I just want to make you suffer as I sort of drew in the, the lines there. And you can sort of see it's not entirely even. Uh, you know, and I, I kind of did a little bit of that on purpose. I didn't want it to be super duper even. Because it really doesn't matter that much, but also in you know, so much as it does matter, things are never kind of perfect in real life anyway. And the And the goal here was like I said, we're doing that back part of the hair that I want to sort of fall loosely down the back. Now that's not to say it's not going to have volume. It is. Uh, but let's just take a quick look inside the assembly room and just take a closer look here. I, I'm just looking for things like how is it laying. Obviously the front's not even done at all. Uh, we're going to have the... Hmm, kind of looks like a little bit of hair might be growing through the ear there. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm right too. <laughs> uh, it's not super duper important, but uh, just for precision's sake, let me just take that out at one block from behind the ear. Both cases, it's right about there, I think. Let's see if I'm right. If I guessed right there. Yeah, that was it. Just jump to the other side. Take that out as well. Missed it somehow. Try it again. There we go. In any case, that's really kind of good enough uh, for what we're doing. So we'll jump back into the hair room and we will fix our settings because they came in with the defaults and the defaults are pretty fairly wrong. Uh, this is going to be straight straight guide hairs but um, it's going to have a little bit of volume uh, throughout and so I'm thinking I'm going to take it up to 35 segments. That's really kind of the high end of the number of segments that I would use but it's going to let it bend pretty well I think and eh, it won't hurt our... I don't think it'll hurt the render time uh, or the uh, simulation time that much anyway so I'm not that worried about it. I'm going to add in let's say actually let me put on symmetry here before I do this I'm going to add in some guide hairs maybe 16 to start off with let's see how that comes out uh, immediately makes things look a little weird it's not actually symmetrical but I don't really care about symmetry because this is not a symmetrical hairstyle. We're not going right down the middle, so that's not as important. I'm going to turn off the hair, though, and just make things are, make sure things are evenly spread, which they kind of are and kind of aren't. Um, I can definitely use a few more guide hairs, so I'm going to add some guide hairs. Take the radius nice and low here. 0 0.03, no deformation, very important there, or else it'll go wild as I put it on there. And I don't want it to go wild, at least not until I've decided where I want it to go wild at. And we're just going to randomly cover the green areas. This is much less important to have guide hairs back here too much because I mean, I need a lot less of them because this is all going to sort of just loosely drape however gravity says do it. I'm fine with it. Don't really care. In fact, if it bunches up a little bit, I'm that that actually might lend to the effect because we want kind of a full-bodied hair. Now, one of the things we're going to do here, uh, I'll go ahead and flip on my brush, kick up the uh, stiffness and the strength, and just sort of yank it, make the hairs back. To where I want them to be before the the uh, before we begin the uh, the draping process to sort of get the hair down where I want it to be. Now there is kind of a problem here. You'll notice I want the hair to drape down here. I don't want anything falling forward over her face, uh, and most of it will, but some of it might not. And so to control that. I struggled with this for a little while, and then I remembered this is Carrera, man. We can, we have the power of creation. We can do whatever we want to do, as long as we're smart in our approach. And I'm not saying this is smart, but this is a simple, easy fix. I put in and uh, inserted a 
primitive sphere into the into the scene and I'm just going to sort of push that up against her face right up to the line where I don't want the hair to fall forward of and just zip it up just a little bit more I don't want it to intersect there but just kind of close to it it's probably about as close as I can get and that should work this has collisions enabled so it won't fall through the sphere it might still some we might still get some strands that'll fall down past her ears or around that section but um generally we'll control where the drape is so let's change our scene settings uh we're going to use the same scene settings as with the simple hair at least for this portion because this is going to be loosely flowing hair that is not shaped so i'm going with 80 percent dampening 80 percent root stiffness zero percent on the hair and shape one percent on the density I'm not messing with that i'm going to kick up the simulation strength or accuracy to 200 percent which is plenty and i'm going to drape them all we're going to watch them come flying down there we might get some tangles. That's always interesting when that happens, because I didn't really brush them that far apart from each other. And if we get some tangles, I'll just use the smooth tool or uh, the push tool in conjunction and, and fix it. And it doesn't look like we are going to get any any of them, but that's okay. All right, we are getting some that are going to fall over the shoulders there. Let's convert that. So I don't want anything forward of the shoulders. I want it all to sort of start at the back. I'm going to grow the hair out so that the longer sections are a little bit longer using the length tool. Let's make the radius of the tool nice and big so it covers the whole head and we'll say 1.2 feet ought to be enough. And I zip it down and it grew through the mesh a little bit. That's okay because we're going to get rough and we're going to get rough with that hair with our brush tool. I'm rough on hair. I yank it every which way. In real life I'm not in not much of a hair puller. I don't like to have my hair pulled, so I return the favor. Well, I've known girls who do like to have their hair pulled. I'm always willing to accommodate, but in general, I'm much more gentle with hair in real life than I am in this room because I just don't care. I want it back and out of the way, and I want it to fall back there. Now, of course, we have yanked it straight through the scalp. Almost all of them, really. If you look at that, almost all of them have been uh, yanked through the scalp. We're going to push it back out of the scalp with a push tool. Got it really low here. But this is going to be a volumetric hair, uh, meaning that we're putting a shader on it that's going to be curly, uh, wavy. And so I actually want to offset the hair, as I mentioned before, from the scalp even higher than normal. So let's start with that practice now and, and kick it up there with 0 0.07 instead of the 0 0.05 we've been using in other, in other, uh, for the other hair. And that pushes it up higher at a higher start point. And if we keep that offset when we're doing our simulations later on, then it will never really fall beyond that end point. It will help the hair not to fall through the mesh. Uh, I mean, the guide hairs won't fall through the mesh, but the loose hairs that are attached to the guide hairs because of the waves and the way they spread out, they might. Uh, and that will help them not to do that. And it's not a big deal even if they do, because we do have that hair cap which will cover that sort of mistake. But um, but let's just let's just keep it up high. I want that nice volumetric effect anyway. So I'm going to keep it up high, and we're going to drape it again. Some of this might still slide forward. I'm hoping not, but it might still slide forward. Hopefully, it all goes to the back. And yeah, it looks like it's nicely going to the back there. Good deal. Let's convert that so I don't for always remember to convert because I always forget to convert and then I'm always doing the drape twice. <laughs> uh, let's cut it up so that it's even, um, you know, ish, even ish. Going for a nice wavy, full-bodied hair, so it's okay if it's not totally even, but ish. Ah, stupid mouse button. All right. Um, why does that look like there's a big spot there with no guide hairs? That's weird. I thought I'd covered it nicely, but it doesn't look like it. I don't like it, so I'm going to add a few more guide hairs just in the in the green area there. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. 
Somehow I managed to add two there. I didn't mean to do that. I just want one. It's because of the it's because the sphere the the circle is covering our whole head, and if I move the mouse at all while I've got the button held down, even unintentionally, it'll start adding other hairs. And one more. And one more. Okay. Now obviously that's not going to be in the right place either, so we need to drape those as well. One more drape. I probably should have brushed them down into the general area and have less far to fall. How many guide hairs have I got going there? Certainly more than I usually use. I get nervous on the tutorial, so I'm like, oh, I guess I'll go with higher segments than I did before, and I'll go with more guide hairs. <laughs> 48, it's not it's not an overwhelming number, but it's more than I... I I think it's more than I need. <laughs> It'll slow the Sims a little bit, but not a much that not as much that it really matters. Let's cut it and even it back up here. And what did I do? Uh, like an idiot, forgot to convert, as I always do. Let's try. That's a neat trick, by the way. If you forget to convert, just go into the assembly room, back in the model room, and it's back down where it draped, and you can convert the drape. And now I select the tool safely. Just even up a little bit. Not a lot, because I kind of want it to be a little squiggly back there. I want it to be a little squirrely, or else it wouldn't be as vol volumetric as we like. Let's give it a little push. Apply. Nice. We're getting there. I like that. Okay. So back here, we can we can say the loose hair that it's at the back, that's riding at the back, it's kind of, sort of, ready to go here. Um, and so now we're going to move forward to our front hairs. And I'm sort of done with the primitive. Its purpose is sort of served here. So I might need it if I mess up. So I'm just going to move it out of the way for now. Won't hurt anything if it's still in the scene. And then I can always slide it back into place if I need to. What did I do? No. Oh. All right. Because I'm circling the primitive. Uh, let's go back to our Victoria 4. And looks like some sort of Klingon hairstyle or something. It's very, very weird at this point, but that's okay. Leave that alone, and now we're going to do the section we haven't done before in any tutorial up till now, which is create a new hair group. And this will be, we'll call it front swooping hair, because why not? You'll notice that when you switch to that, to that other hair group, or the new one that we're adding, we've got the old hair group still there, so we can see where it's drawn on. And this is super handy to know where that line actually is. Uh, and then we just draw on with a new hair group, and I'm going to show you a couple of things about that. It's green, like you would expect, except for where it overlaps. And we can overlap the whole thing if we wanted to. It gets all nice and red in the overlap section. It's basically saying, hey, look, here in this section, we've got other hair already going there, so you're going to be having your hair going through this hair, and, you know, pen, delirium, cats and dogs living together, and you may or may not want that. I want a little bit of it, not much. I just want to blend it so that it's... Actually, I think, you know what, I might just do a big old section of it, because I'm feeling like living dangerously and seeing how that turns out. Let's take a look in the main room and see how that's looking for the front of the hairline. I think it might be too far forward. Not 100% sure there. It is covering the the hair cap kind of gave us a good idea. It is covering the hair cap. I've gone beyond the hair cap, so maybe I want to scale it back to the hair cap. Let's see about that. Uh, it's got that one guide here, which is why it's all pulled a little weird in there. <sighs> all right, so we'll say the tool, shift, select to get rid of little bits here. Let's scale back our temples a little bit. Uh, 
How's this? Kind of uneven. <laughs> There's the OCD part of me for which which says, oh my gosh, that's uneven. You can't have it like that. And there's the other part of me that says, you know what, hair kind of is uneven. It has different densities throughout its length, um, and it uh, it behaves in different ways throughout its where where it falls. So maybe it's not the worst thing in the world if we have some different densities, you know, or some different some variation in the pattern. Let's see how it looks in the in the in the main room here. Seems to be. Just on the hair cap, I kind of like it. I think, I think I'm gonna ride with it. I'm gonna let this ride. Cool little triangle shape. Somehow it inserted three guide hairs just randomly. It said, "I need some guide hairs before I show you what it looks like in the assembly room." But these are not the guide hairs that I want particularly, although they can stay. So I'll add to it. Let's add some more guide hairs to this front section. I'm going to scale down the tool so I've got a little more control over it. And if I, especially if I need to remove them, I like the, the tool to be small so I'm not removing big swaths all at once. Okay, on this hair, on the original hair, I was very. Hmm, 16 minutes. I feel like I'm just swallowing your time. This is all stuff that I could sort of do while off screen. So, tell you what, I'm going to pause it there, come back with the next tutorial after I've put this hair group together and just show you what I've done. How about that? See you next time and we'll complete this.